back for part two of our wax empties for the week. So this is truly the wax empties portion. In the previous video, we talked about the candles and body care that I used up this week. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure that you do. I'll try to link it down below, link each of them in the description box so that you can catch part one and part two this week. So I want to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I hope you decide to stick around and become a part of the channel by subscribing down below. And I want to welcome you back. If you're a returning visitor or subscriber, I'm so glad to have you as a part of this channel. We got through a lot of wax this week like we always do. So let's jump into it. It's going to be really long if we don't get moving. All right, we have this Oak and Rye Pure Maple Butter. It's a retail wax. I do get this at Kroger. I don't know. I think Meyer has it as well. This is the most authentic, realistic pancake slash waffle smell that I've ever experienced. It's so good. I can't find vendor wax that rivals it. Truly, this is so good. Don't make it if you're hungry or you think you might be hungry. Ugh, it's really good. So I usually buy a couple when I use one, but I need, I keep saying I need like a sleeve of it because if they get rid of it, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I won't cry. It's so good. Mel sent me this Mainstays French Toast Wax Cubes from Canada. We don't have this one here. This was also really good. I used it in conjunction with the Pure Maple Butter there. So, so good. Very good. I would say they're very, very similar. This might have been, I'm trying to remember, a little bit, had a little bit of cinnamon in it. Yeah, but not bad. Really, really good. So I recommend this one if you can't get your hands on the Oak and Rye and you're in Canada, you can pick this one up. All right, this is a staple for me. They usually bring this out in the summertime and you can pick it up sometimes on a clearance and that's what I have done. I have stocked up on quite a few of these. The prices vary depending. I get them at Walmart, but to me, this smells like strawberry ice cream. I absolutely love it. Other people get different scents, but to me, I get like a creamy strawberry ice cream. This is fantastic. I love blending this with like a vanilla bakery blend. So good. Highly recommend that one. So as we jump into the vendor wax this week, I'll remind you of our theme for the week. It was just not reaching for it, I want to say, or love it or leave it. So these are some scents that have been sitting in my stash and they get overlooked week after week when I'm pulling my wax basket. Perhaps they didn't appeal to me as much on cold as some other blends did. Or, you know, I'm having a problem. Maybe the vendor isn't throwing as well as I would like in my house. So I've been hesitant to try a couple of these. So I wanted to just do a whole week of scents that maybe have just kind of been hanging out, never getting picked. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Give them their chance to shine, their moment in the sun, <laughs> literally as they melt <laughs> in the sun and see how they do for me. So it was a really interesting fun week I will say there were some some surprise hits in here and that's always good because I just never really know until you melt it don't judge it until you melt it is what I would say so let's jump into some of the vendor wax we had take five for the melted mousse crunchy salted pretzels creamy caramel and a hint of milk chocolate I only had one of these scent cups and if you have been around you guys know I need two to fit in all my warmers so I did an alternating warmers, this Chunky Monkey Latte from Midnight Daydream, Bocaccino, Banana Walnut Muffins, and Maple Bread Pudding. What I would say is the Take 5 took over. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I could smell in the house. It was good, actually. It was a nice chocolatey and caramel type of blend. So I would definitely get this again. I don't know why I didn't really call my name when, you know, I would sniff it <laughs> just in the in the scent shot cup here. But yeah, I really liked it. If you like chocolate scents, which I know a lot of people don't like chocolate and wax, I happen to really love it. I like chocolate and everything. I say that all the time. But yeah, I would definitely get a few of those. I don't need, you know, like loaves and loaves and loaves of it, but I think it's nice. It's a great change of pace. I think it'll be nice for the winter too. Nice kind of comforting scent. So we have Dessa's Spoonful of Sugar which is ice cream, lemon sugar cookie, waffle cone, and crushed lemon candies. And again, I just had one of these. So in alternating warmers, I did this friendship cookie Noel from Midnight Daydream, friendship bread, and Noel sugar cookies. So I would say this was a light, 
vanilla and lemon blend because they only had lemon in this particular one. So I would say it was very light. I would say maybe a three or four on warm. So I wouldn't get that one again. It was pleasant, but very light. So if you like lighter scents, maybe you could pick those up, but you guys know I want. <laughs> I want to, you know, I was going to say blast my socks off. <laughs> blow my socks off, blow the, you know, the windows and doors off of the house. So yeah, it was just not strong enough for me. These, however, were very good. This is from Dessa's. I only had one of each. We did Snow's Poison Apple, which is Macintosh Apple, Gooey Caramel, White Chocolate, and Caramelized Pralines. And then in alternating warmers, we had Caramel Apple French Toast, which was French Toast, Baked Apples, Cinnamon, and Caramel Sauce. What I would say is I think this one took over a little bit and I got a delicious French toast, like bready type of scent with caramel apple. So I think that the, you know, the Snow's Poison Apple helped to amp up a little bit that, of that caramel apple. This was very strong. I would say probably a seven out of 10 and lasted a really long time. I left it going. It's one of those where you can see the steam coming off of the warming dish. So yeah, I would totally recommend these. Uh, really great caramel apple and French toast. Mm, delicious and it'd be great to, you know, melt together or mix. Fantastic. Highly recommend that one. We had Dessa's Homespun Scents, Soarin' Above. This was Hang Glide over Malibu, Orange Groves, Redwood Trees, and Ocean. This was very strong as well. I did it in this office, so it was it was pretty strong and it really lingered. So I had it going in the afternoon, left it on because it was doing well, left it on overnight. In the morning, I could still smell that ocean scent, which is like the salty sea air. That is a very strong oil because every vendor, I have that same experience, which I feel like it could go like a week and you'd still smell it. So yeah, this was very nice with the orange and the salty sea air or the ocean. We have, we made a custom with another vendor that is a very similar. So while I wouldn't get that one again, I recommend it. It did really well for me. And then this one we did in my son's bathroom, Midnight Daydream, Let's Go Camping, Vanilla Bean Noel, Toasted Marshmallow, Frankincense, and Myrrh. This was very pretty, very, very nice. It's... <laughs> Definitely got that frankincense and myrrh with the vanilla bean noel and the toasted marshmallow. All of it. I feel like it was toasted marshmallow with the frankincense and myrrh. You know how that is. Vanilla bean noel is kind of light and just adds kind of a vanilla creaminess to any blend. This was really good. Very strong. Lasted a long time. So yeah, I would recommend that one. And then this, we just finished this one up along with a couple of mint blends that you'll see in here. This is mint chocolate chip from K's. Ugh, just delicious. To me, it smells like the mint chocolate chip ice cream. So you definitely got the chocolate in that. It was not just mint, and I I loved it. I actually just placed a custom with her and considered getting, I think she does, she's doing the clamshells now. I thought about getting a clam, but I have several mint blends now, and that's not something I tend to reach for outside of, you know, fall and winter. So I thought, well, let's use up what we have, but I recommend hers if you're looking for a good mint chocolate chip. All right, we have one clamshell that we used up from Vendor Wax. It's Zape, Helium, Fruity Pebbles, Citrus Fizz, and Strawberry Cotton Candy. I know a lot of you guys love this. This just doesn't work for me and I don't know why. <laughs> I want to love it. It smells fantastic in the clamshell. It's just, I, I don't know. It just is very light for me and then it fizzles really fast. So that's the last one I have of that one. I do love her. This is like pineapple fizzy pops or something. And that's also, you can get it in clams. That's really good. And that one lasts a long time. So just could be the fragrance oils. I don't know. It's just not working in my house. All right. We have our big big stack here. We have Zape, the Mad Hatter, Tea and Cakes, March Hares, and Cheshire Cats. I loved this. You guys know I love Tea and Cakes. And that's basically what this was to me. This is what it smelled like. Loved it. This one lasted a long time. Would highly recommend and pick it up if you like Tea and Cakes. To me, it always smells like an orange bakery with almond notes in it. I don't really get a lot of tea in Tea and Cakes but I just love it. It's very distinctive. And once you know <laughs> what it smells like, you can pick it out in blends typically. 
this die cam. I don't know because I love it so much. But anyway, highly recommend that one. We had Empire Alchemy Coconut Macadamia Pancakes. So it's macadamia nuts, maple pancakes, coconut whipped cream, and fresh berries. I have this going right now. It is very light. I can barely smell it. I would say what I get is it does smell a little bit like macadamia nut pancakes with hints of coconut and maple. I don't get any fresh berries in here at all, but it's very light. I would say it's about a four out of 10. And this was from, well, it's from June. I don't know if it needed more cure time or not, but I, you know, I want my wax to be stronger. So I wouldn't get that one again. This is Destination Wax, Napa Valley Sunset, Figs, Fig Leaves, Pear, and Musk, BBW type. It was okay. I mean, this is not my typical go-to type of scent. It was pretty. Reminds me, it's probably a body care from Bath & Body Works. I probably wouldn't get it again, but I'm glad I was able to try it. And this one, my son was like, you have been melting some really scary scents lately. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, what are you doing? So this, this is a scary scent, I guess, for him. Dr. Sleep's Mint Leaves, Lavender, Vanilla, Palo Santo, and Moroccan Mint. This was so strong. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, you got all of it. The lavender was probably the least strong in this blend. It was mainly mint and Palo Santo. Not my thing. I wanted to give it a try because now I don't like Palo Santo. I do like the Moroccan mint though. I would definitely say that with a bakery would be interesting for me to try. But yeah, I'm glad I'm glad we tried it, but it was not a it was not a hit, apparently. So the next one we have is the pharmacist daughter, creamy zucchini, zucchini bread, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, and marshmallow fluff. I like this one. This one was good. I would get this again. It surprised me. I you know, I'm cold sniff. It was I didn't know how those would blend together truly, but I liked it. It was very warm and kind of cozy with a hint of body care, which is what the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds is or the BMC. It was good. I would definitely get that one again. We had Savannah Blue Strawberry Apple Iced White Tea. Strawberry Macintosh Apples with White Tea. I have this going in here right now because I only do two cubes at a time, so it took me a few days to go through it. I really enjoyed it, but I would say mostly, I don't get tea. I don't get tea in a lot of blunts. I don't know why my nose just doesn't pick it up. So mainly what I got was a Macintosh apple and hints of strawberry. It was nice. I don't know if I need tons of this one, but it was nice to try and was stronger than I thought it would be. We had Zape Loopy Peeps Treats, Fruity Pebbles, Rice Krispies, and Marshmallow Fluff. I think I did a couple of these. They were in just the most adorable shapes. This was nice. I liked it better in my bedroom, which is a smaller room. It did better in there, performed better. It was kind of a creamy, like Rice crispy, Fruity Pebbles treats type of blend. So it definitely smelled like I expected it to. And like I said, it did better in a smaller room. So yeah, I enjoyed it. This one really surprised me as well. This was L3, Trey Leche's Cake, Strawberry Bread and Sugar Milk. This to me really smelled like a strawberry bread mainly and you got hints of like a creamy like caramely which is the Trey Leche's cake that's what you kind of got with this as it went it was very strong and long lasting I would say probably a seven or an eight out of ten and lasted forever again was one of the blends that you get the steam that's coming off the warmers just fantastic so this probably goes in a surprise hit of the week because I would get this again. I liked it. So we'll put it over here <laughs> to talk about those at the end. We had Rose Girls, Pink Pear Pleasure, Pear Macintosh Apple, and Pink Sugar. This was nice. And again, it was better than I thought it would be. It was really mainly Macintosh Apple, which I love her, Mac Apple, and Pink Sugar. I actually melted this in my bathroom and it was great because I think the pear gave it a hint of body care. It was nice. Do I need a ton of it? No, but you know, maybe, you know, one chunk muffin a year would be nice to melt as a change of pace. Yeah, I enjoyed it. We had L3 Gold Goatee, Gold Sugar, Pistachio, and Savory Bakery. Casey sent this to me in our swap. This, I don't know. There's something odd about this scent and I can't put my finger on what it is. And every time I melted it, I thought the same thing. 
I don't know what part of it. I mean, you get a lot of pistachio, which I tend to love in blends, but there, I don't know if it's the savory bakery or the gold sugar that's throwing me off. There's something that needs to come out of it. And I think it would be really, really good. So I don't know. I wouldn't get this again the way that it is, but I'm really glad that I tried it. Every time, it was interesting because every time I melted it, I was kind of like, what is that? <laughs> that needs, it, to my mind anyway, and to my notes, there's something that needs to come out that I, you know, I don't know. All right, we had Wolf Wicks Reaper. This is apples, white chocolate, campfire, and powdered sugar. This is another surprise hit of the week, I would say. I dreaded melting this one and I did put this on, you know, later in the evening, a couple hours before we went to bed. It was a nighttime melt. I will say I did amp it up and added some apple to this, which I think helped. Every time I smelled it on cold, it was too strong in the campfire. You guys know, I don't like campfire type of scents, but I feel like adding a little bit more apple to it, which it was already in here, just made it so delicious. I got the white chocolate apple. Campfire was nice, just hints of smokiness. It was great, actually. So that was another surprise hit of the week. I don't know if that I'd buy any more of it, but it makes me like rethink maybe some campfire blends. If it was just a slight hint of it, I might try it. So you just never know. All right, this was another Loopy Peeps treat, which we melted. We had Dessa's Homespun Scents, Be Our Royal Guest, the gray stuff, red velvet, berry puree, mousse, and sugar cookies. This was pretty light, I would say, and it got lost very, very quickly. I would say probably a three or four out of 10 in my main living space. I wanted this to just be the most fantastic, like a berry white chocolate type of bakery blend. Eh, and I was sad. So anyway, maybe a smaller size room would work better. Hi, everybody. I'm annoying my mom. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Anyway, what was I saying? So I was kind of disappointed with that one, but, you know, I tried it. All right, we had Wandering in Wonderland sugar pie. Sugar pie? Yes. Sugar cookies and flaky pie crust. I used this to blend. I think that a lot of people do that, although she is kind of known for this. To me, it's more of a blending scent. I don't typically just melt pie crust scents, so it was good as a blender. I would say that. We had Hufflepuff from L3, fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. Really like this one. I'm a Hufflepuff too, <laughs> so it's nice. So yeah, this is fantastic. I'm sure I have more in my fall drawer. <laughs> I don't, what is wrong with me? I have to check my stash and grab some more of it. So we had Simo, mocha mint cupcakes, and then mint latte from Hayden Rowe. Did that in conjunction with a mint, mint chocolate chip, I believe it was, from Kay's. This was just the most fantastic, ugh, gorgeous chocolate mint scents all together surrounding me. <laughs> Deliciousness in the house. So yeah, all of those were good. I had them in different warmers to see which ones I like. I don't know that I could pick out a favorite, but yeah, they were fantastic. So I would recommend each and every one of those if you like mint chocolate blends. All right, we have Pharmacist's Daughter, Island Escape, Salty Sea Air, and Barbershop. I love Barbershop, but I don't know. Something about the addition of the Salty Sea Air for me in this particular blend was not my favorite. I'm glad I got it and tried it. I think my son might have liked this one a little bit better, but because it was in my, in my basket, I wanted to use it. But yeah, I don't know if we have any more of these, but if I did... That would go to him because I think he would like it more than me. He's you know, a salty sea air enthusiast. We have rainbow melts, orange soda, orange chiffon cake. I did this in my bedroom. Really nice. I mean, it wasn't as fizzy as you guys know as I would like because of the bakery aspect to it. But it was okay in terms of that because right now, you know, I'm kind of liking a little bit of more bakery scents in my bedroom. So it worked out perfectly. Perfect time for me to melt this. I really enjoyed it. Nice um, almond, <laughs> nice orange bakery blend, and I liked it. So I would get that one again. We had Dessa's Homespun Scents, Orange Grove. This was really nice, very strong. Took over my house. Like I was in here working and had the door, you know, open, shut, depending on meetings for the day. I kept being like, it smells like orange. Where is that coming from? Yeah, I always tell you, I'm quick. <laughs> I forget what I'm melting in the other room, but this one took over. It's that zesty oranges and orange peel. 
another surprise hit. Did really, really well. Lasted, I want to say, five to six hours. So yeah, that was a surprise hit of the week. We'll put it in that pile. We had a couple that we did together from Rainbow Melts from her coffee sampler. Coffee Bar, which was espresso and butterscotch bourbon. And Butt First Coffee, Starbucks Coffee, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cereal. These were both good. I enjoyed them. But I would say... You know, I know a lot of people rave about her coffee, but to me, it kind of dies quickly. And again, to be fair, I use like the hottest warmers on the market, truly. So it could be my warmers just doing the hot fast to kick it out and it's done kind of a thing. But yeah, this was strong and good. I would just say it lasted maybe four hours for me. I would have liked a little bit more. You know, I kind of like five or six and then I'm happy with it. Usually I'm ready to change out the wax at that point, so there's that. All right, we had this butter beer from L3, and then I had from Britta's an unmarked sample. I think it was Dean. That's my guess. I'm sticking to it, which is like an apple pie, and is it like a bourbon sauce? Kind of a, kind of a blend. So yeah, this was, I think this was another the one that the son that dropped in and said hello was like, what in the world? I, I think it was the butter beer, to be fair. It was just odd. Not a scent that we normally have a lot of, so I think it just kind of threw our noses off a little bit. So I wouldn't get the butter beer again. Dean is a very popular scent a lot of people love, so yeah, I would definitely recommend picking that one up. All right, we had Salt Mountain Princess Cut. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, cherry and wedding cake. What I mainly got was a, it smelled like a cherry chip wedding cake. It was really good. It was another surprise hit. I liked it. Lasted a long time and was a really nice cherry bakery. I felt like I got the frosting from the birthday cake. Really, really nice. Really good one. Highly recommend that one. We had pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, and Hufflepuff from L3. I think this was her Hufflepuff sampler. Yes, indeedy. Absolutely love this. Anything with pumpkin pecan waffles and I am all over it. So I melted it in conjunction with this one, the pharmacist's daughter, pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, vanilla buttercream, and birthday cake. Delicious. I am telling you, I just can't go wrong with pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm obsessed. I am. I have this shower gel in my shower. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. All right. We, this is another surprise hit. I, I don't know. This is L3 Vermont honey, apple, and pear. So to, <laughs> to be fair, I'm rhyming. To be fair, I did mix in some more apple with this one and a little bit of bakery. I'm trying to think. I think I did the Hufflepuff with that one. This was very, very good when I did that. I added, like I said, just a pinch of some of the, her Mac Apple, which, you know, I'm going through a large custom of that from L3. And then I put in some Hufflepuff. It was so delicious. Very, very good. Now, I think this is Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this a body care, like a Bath and Body Works body care type of scent? I don't know, but I would say with the addition, uh, you, know, you know, changing the blend a little, <laughs> it was fantastic. So I don't know. I don't know that I would get this again because I don't know how much of it came out in that blend, but this surprised me. And we have Dessa's Homespun Scents, Country Bear Jamboree, Blackberries, Raspberries, Strawberries, Wild huck Huckleberries, and Sugar. This was very nice. I would say, I feel like I got mainly raspberries and huckleberries in this. This was good, probably lasted about four hours and I was very pleased with it. This one, oh, I think, so uh, to be fair, I think I am now done with my Palo Santo blends. You guys know, <laughs> it's just not my thing. It's not. This is Dark Knight, which is Blackberry, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. Casey sent this to me in our swap just wasn't my thing. I wanted more blackberry and marshmallow fireside is pretty good. I like that candle from Bath and Body Works. It's marshmallowy enough that I feel like it kind of tamps down some of that fireside in there, but the Palo Santo just came out too strong. And I think that's how it goes. If you don't like a particular scent, your nose is going to like zoom right in. At least mine does. So anyway, this would not be another <laughs> repurchase for me, but I am really glad that I tried it truly. All right, we had a small sample from Birdies I did in this office. You're steaming hot, strong black coffee with a hint of spicy cinnamon. You guys know I like cinnamon in my coffee scents. It was really great. I enjoyed it. So we have a few more here. My vendor of the month, which is Britta's Creepy Treasures. 
in honor of the month of October because who else would we melt in October but Britta's. I have seven cents in here and then I have Murder in Paradise. It is a really nice like gain and Hawaiian punch blend that is still in my bathroom. I'm still working through that one. It's probably my favorite laundry blend. I'm gonna say of all time. I can't think of another one that I like better for laundry blends. Laundry blends are not typically my thing, but I feel like with that, I definitely get the Hawaiian punch in equal measure. So it kind of tames down some of that soapy laundry type of scent. So we melted that one this week. We're gonna continue it. I couldn't, you know, in the bathroom, I can't get through huge quantities of wax in a week. But anyway, so that will be in an empties, but I wanted to give you an update on that one. We had white cake, sugar cookie royale, and vanilla bean marshmallow, I believe. Vanilla bean MM. I don't know, and Britta, let me know, because you've been commenting on my videos. So let me know, is this a typical, is it like in the rotation, or is it a new name for this one? Because this was poured in January. I loved this one, and I also have Cromwell cookies in here, and I think I like this one better. So just want to know if this is the way that it normally comes or if it's got a fancy new name now because <laughs> I love this. This was fantastic. So yeah, I would highly recommend this one. I don't know. I guess I like the white cake or birthday cake types of blends, um, you know, for a van vanilla bakery because I feel like I get the frosting. I don't know. I feel like I get the frosting in it. It was so delicious. So highly recommend this one. Don't know why I wasn't you know, picking that out before. We had Sweet Silence, Monster Delight, Pink Sugar, Pink Berry, and Tonka. This was nice. I feel like this is probably, maybe because of the Tonka and the Pink Sugar, this is more of a bathroom blend to me. I did melt this and my warmers in my main living space. And I am more of a fruity or bakery or fruity bakery type of lover in that space. So it wasn't the right location, I would say, for me to melt it. So I didn't love it as much as I was hoping, but I'm glad that I tried it. I would say that. I probably wouldn't get it again, but there's a lot of other great scents from Britta's. It's fine. You got to cut them down somehow, right? You can't, you can't buy them all. All right, speaking of, so that you guys know, this is probably, yeah, it's my favorite Britta scent of all time. You guys probably could say it with me. Beware the purple peanut butter. My gosh. Peanut butter cookies, grape jelly, and sweet bakery dough. This is so good. I can't even explain it. I don't get a lot of grape. And I know I've seen other reviews and people say the same thing. And maybe it just adds more sweetness to it. But, and that's okay because I feel like the star of this show really needs to be the peanut butter cookies. And it is. It smells like you're baking peanut butter cookies. I mean, truly. Again, don't melt this hungry. I'm not even kidding when I tell you that I bought... <laughs> That I think it's like Pillsbury Reese's peanut butter cookie dough. Just if I'm not feeling like making them from scratch. I was at the store and I was like, you know what? I'm just buying this because then I can pop it in the oven and have this going and eat to my heart's content. I'm telling you that this is what <laughs> will do it for you. Highly recommend. I have a loaf. I have a whole bunch of shapes. I don't want to ever be without that one. All right, so we have Cookie Coma, which is very similar, but this is peanut butter cookies, chocolate chip cookie dough, and sweet and creamy. So to me, this smells like a little bit of both. So maybe you have half of a recipe of peanut butter cookie dough and half of the chocolate chip cookies, or maybe you put some chocolate chips in your peanut butter cookies. Either way, this was fantastic. You definitely got the chocolate. So if you don't like chocolate and wax, you probably will pick it up. I wouldn't say it was overwhelming, but I definitely smelled it and it's and it's different from the beware the purple peanut butter. I always have to look. I always want to say beware the purple people eater. I know. But anyway, so this is great. I would highly recommend this. They're both perfect. I think I like the purple peanut butter a little bit better. But yes, I will be stocking up on this one as well. I'm going to enjoy both of them. You know I will. <laughs> I love them both. So this next one is Spa Succubus, Avo Bath, So White Type, and Hawaiian Punch. So, I love Avo Bath. Love it. I love Hawaiian Punch. I figured out I don't like So White type. This one was a little bit of... I was a little bit on the struggle bus finishing this one, I'll be honest, because of the So White type. There's something about that that just really doesn't agree with my nose. And so, I wouldn't get it again, but I think Avo Bath and Hawaiian Punch would be 
an interesting blend. I don't know if you have that at, right now, Britta, but I think that that would be really good because I could get hints of those too, and they're both strong oils. But unfortunately, the So White just kept peeking its, <laughs> rearing its ugly head at me. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I just want to smell the Avo Bath and Hawaiian Punch. All right, caramel cookies. We talked about it a little bit. This one is sugar cookie royale, sugar cookie dough, animal crackers, and vanilla ice cream. What I really think I smell in this is the animal crackers and vanilla ice cream. I don't really, I figured out I don't love a lot of creamy scents. And I know you guys have pointed that out. So like the vanilla ice cream blends you know, like whipped cream blends kind of throw me off. So I liked this other one better. I think I like cake without ice cream. <laughs> I guess if that makes sense. I'm wondering, I probably would like sugar cookie royale and sugar cookie dough better and maybe even like white cake together. That probably be really, really nice. But yeah, I think the animal crackers and vanilla ice cream were throwing me off in this blend. I have some more of that. I like to blend fruit in with that scent so I will probably do that like a nice raspberry sauce or strawberry in with that blend it kind of like tames down some of that creaminess and I like it better but that's just my nose it's a really nice blender too so if you're looking for a good creamy vanilla blender that's a good one and the last one we did is vampire punch Hawaiian punch Bora Bora and cherry I laugh because Oh, I hate to say this, but the Bora Bora, this particular oil, not all of them, but this particular oil smells like cat pee to my nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate saying that. And it's my nose. I don't know. But that's what it smells like. I would love this with Hawaiian Punch and Cherry and maybe a different, you know, something else. But again, the Bora Bora kept sneaking out and I kept thinking, what is that smell? And it, that's what it does to my nose. Isn't that weird? I don't know why it picks that up. I'm sure not everybody smells that. So that's what my nose picks up. But yeah, I would highly recommend the Hawaiian Punch and Cherry. But check this out and see. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have that. If some Bora Bora oils do that to you. I mean, a lot of peach oils do that to me too. I don't know why. But our noses are all different. And you just never really know. So yeah, this has been so much fun. We're continuing with the Vendor of the Month with Britta's Wax. So you'll have to tune in tomorrow because we do pick it on camera. <laughs> the wax that I will be melting from Britta's for the week. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for that. What is my theme going to be for the week? In addition to our Vendor of the Month, we are going with Mind Your P's and Q's. That's what I'm calling it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on vendor i think it's mostly vendors i don't know if i did like scent notes or names there might be one or two in there but the majority is going to be vendors that start with p q r s t <laughs> so those and there's quite a few as i'm sure you know if you have a long vendor list that you order from like i do so we're going to focus on some wax from those vendors you know i'm trying to do some fall wax sticking with the mood even though weather update it's still in the high 70s here like where is my October weather I don't know what's going on I saw a map and you know I we're right in I'm in Michigan so we're right in this path of above average temps and I think west coast is lower than average and we're in the above average I'm like when's my October gonna get here but anyway at least weather is gonna get here Let's finish up quickly with, I don't know, what was my favorite surprise scent of the week? I'm gonna, so I'm gonna give it to Britta's, this white cake, sugar cookie royale, and vanilla bean marshmallow. I, the reason I'm doing that is because I didn't mix anything into it. So it was pure unmixed goodness here. This really surprised me. I wasn't expecting to love it as much. It smelled good, but again, you know, it smelled like your average vanilla bakery, but this was so good, so strong, and I want more of it. So I'm gonna give that the surprise hit of the week. Really glad that I have it and definitely will be picking up more of it. So thank you so much for watching. It's another long one. I appreciate you hanging on with me and I will see you back tomorrow for my weekly wax basket. Bye everybody.